never thought I would do a YouTube pants review film. This is definitely new territory, but I'm striving to make this channel more about things that I like and things that are relevant to people who like the outdoors, which I think you do. So this video is a big exploration of my love affair for pens, and especially pens that can go do anything at any time. Although this review is about pens that can go anywhere, um, let me explain that this is skewed towards urban and lifestyle versus properly hiking and climbing. You know what I appreciate in a pair of pens is that they can sort of do both things at once, that they can be elegant and stylish and they can also go outside and sort of get wet. That's what I really appreciate and that's what this whole video is about. What's that pen? They have a cool name. In terms of fit, they fit really well. So th this one, by the way, is the only one that I had to buy as a 31. 32 was too big, so I just bought a 32, returned it, and got a 31. So they're a bit oversized compared to the other guys. In terms of looks and feel, these are really quirky. I like them. They have like this little pocket for your knife that is convenient, I guess, if you want to take the bus with your knife or the subway if you're in the city. You know, that's why I like them. They just have quirky features. Like, who's going to put a knife holder on their pants? They have this cool little logo, I think. I like seeing that. They're not overly stretchy, but just enough, I think. In terms of waterproofing, they are not waterproof unless you wax them with G1000 wax. In terms of tapering, although they call the Stormland tapered, they are not really that tapered. I had to get them adjusted at the bottom by uh, the local seamstress, just to make them just right. So they're not perfect out of the box, but really damn close. In terms of price, they're $135, so kind of in the middle range. The 66 North Essia pant. These are really cool, because in terms of fit, they fit perfectly around the waist. Like, it's really perfect. It's a 32. They have this little clipping device uh, to close them. It's cool, but a bit annoying. But at least they're never, never going to come up. In terms of look and feel, I love it because they just look like jeans, but they feel like active wear. So that's a really good win. In terms of stretch, they have loads of stretch. Like it's just like among the most in the whole review. In terms of waterproofness, they're called water repellent, so it can handle like a light rainstorm. So I don't know how far we can go with that. With tapering, I don't think they're tapered enough. Like they're really slim, I love that, but I think this is a little too wide for me. I'll probably want it to get it um, tapered by this local person here. Yeah, I mean, they're cool because they don't have many seams, just like this big long seam here. And one here, one here for the knees. They just look really cool. Super comfy. Pricing, they're 125 euros. Uh, so I think it's about 135 bucks, something like that. So kind of in the middle again. The Arcteryx Stark. They have a cool name. They feel good. They feel really thin. Like, it's really good for the summer. They breathe awesome. In the winter, I haven't been wearing them too much. It's just a little bit too cold. The thing with these is that they look really slick and elegant. Um, they feel great. Like, you can go anywhere with them. The branding is really discreet, just right here. So, they keep it nice. They're a bit tight around the waist. Like, they're 32s, but they just feel a little too tight. So that's definitely a bit of a bummer, but... You wanna be careful not to eat too much when you wear those. Especially if you're a 32 and you're kind of built like medium size like me. Um, with stretch, they're just like a medium stretch, kind of in between the Fjall Ravens and the uh, 66 North. They don't have too many seams, just like a big long one here and some by the knees, kind of like the 66 North. With waterproofing, these ones don't have any. So, a bit of a negative, but again, they just wouldn't breathe as well with the waterproofing. One thing that I like a lot about these, out of the box, they don't require any tapering because they have this cool adjustable system here with little buttons so you can adjust your desired tightness at the ankle. So I go for a two and roll them up a little bit and then good to go out of the box. None of the other pants in the review have this adjustable system. That's what makes them a really solid choice. In terms of price, they're 109. So more in the entry range of the whole group. Which is pretty surprising for our characters actually. 66 North, Reykjavik trousers. So obviously, I have a place in my heart because I really like the town of Reykjavik in Iceland. Aside from that, in terms of fit, they fit perfect out of the box. Again, a bit of a stretch on the waist, so you can even 
quarter, a little larger or smaller, you'd be great. So 32 again. With look and feel, these feel great. Really, they just look cool. They have a bit of an Explorer vibe with the pockets on the side, but it's actually a bit nifty. I've been carrying my phone here sometimes. Just to change it up instead of here, just more comfortable. So I wasn't sure I was gonna like the pockets, but they're pretty cool. I went with the blue to sort of switch, switch it up. They have blue and black in colors, but I don't have any blue pants, so. It's hard to find like good blue colors in pants, and I think 66 North always does a good job at nailing the color. They have a bit of a fashion vibe as a brand, and I appreciate it for sort of urban lifestyle pants. Yeah, these have a similar fabric to the Estia. It's like the sort of thin lines. It's really neat. Don't know what it is, but they just look like jeans again from far away. They have a ton of stretch, just like the Estia. Even more, I think. So, definitely stretchy. They are also water repellent, so they'll handle a little bit of light rain, but you know, if it's raining a lot, you get wet anyways. But definitely a plus. Tapering, it's got almost enough, but the, you know, the stretchy helps, but I think they're a little too wide still here at the bottom. I would get them tapered it's like this much. Yeah, probably do that soon. Price is 150. So that is uh, some of the most expensive of the whole range. Is it worth it? Well, I think that they're water repellent, they're stretchy. Might be worth it if you can afford it. So these ones are from Topo. They're called the Climb Pants. And I bought a medium because they don't have number sizes. And when I got them, I wanted to immediately return them. I just kept them for the review, but either they're branded as slim, like they sell their slim fitting. I don't know. In what world is a slip fitting? I mean, I don't think I'm big or small. I'm sort of a normal, medium size, and this is gigantic. So maybe I should have bought a small. Maybe that's my bad, but I don't know, Topo. I love your packs, but this just doesn't cut it. Yeah, Mountain Hardware Stark. I haven't worn this since my motorcycle crash two months ago. It's a weird feeling, but I love this pants. That's why I wanted to have them in the review, although they're screwed. This is bits of my skin right here. So I kind of smashed my whole knee. I still see a little bit. Yeah, broke my wrist and... I explained what happened in uh, a video, actually. It's closing. Yeah, that video is called Adventure Workshop is Closing, if you're curious. Just a few months back. Okay, but I wanted to talk about these pants besides the crash because I really like them. These uh, are called the Mountain Hardware Shark. And out of the box, they weren't that great. The fit is good though. The fit is good here at the waist. Um, they looked and feel great. They just look like jeans. They're almost jeans, but they have a bit of stretch. I had to get them tapered by uh, the seamstress here. And they were so perfect that I wore them all the time, even on my motorcycle. Then I crashed and now they're screwed and I can't really find this. I think they're sold out. Mountain Hardware, if you have some more, can you send me one? They're a bit stretchy, not a ton, but you can definitely hike with them. They're just like the ready for anything pen. I, I really love these. Um, obviously, they could have been a bit thicker for motorcycle riding. That's my mistake. These are not waterproof, and that's not just because of the holes, but they're actually not waterproof. The price, uh, they're 90 bucks, I think, which puts them really on the low end. So if you can get them tapered, I think they're a really solid buy. Just don't crash on your motorcycle with them. The Lululemon ABC Slim. So ABC stands for uh, anti-ball crushing. Just wanted to mention that. I love the name of them, that's why I bought them. And it works, they're really comfy. Um, I just wear them for traveling usually. They're a bit shiny. That's the first thing that I wasn't sure about when I saw them. It's almost like you're wearing some sort of suit pant. And not the biggest fan of that, but that's personal preference. If you like the shine, then perfect. They're super comfy. Tons of stretch, just like the uh, 66 North. Um, they're a bit tight around the waist again. They're 32. So there's some brands like that, that if you get a 31, it's too tight here, but perfect here. If you get a 32, it's too tight here, good here. So there's certain people who are built for certain brands and I don't think I'm built for Lululemon, but I still use them quite a bit for traveling because they're super comfy. It's the issue is that out of the box, they're a bit tight here in the waist as a 32. Tapering, they're slim. Um, this is too wide to my taste here at the bottom, but I'm really picking. I think they're some of the best out of the box. These and the Arcterics are perfect out of the box, like down here, almost perfect. I haven't gotten tailored because it's so close to perfect. Yeah, in terms of looks, they just look the most elegant of the bunch. Like, you can definitely go anywhere. 
waterproofing there isn't any which is a bit to be expected I think because they're more like a sort of athletic good weather pant but really cool looking uh, just stitching it's kind of it's got like a tracksuit stitching like a both sides so it feels a bit like a tracksuit to me like a jogger better on this side pricing is 128 on these so kind of in the middle of the scale icebreaker persist pants size 32 fit perfect at the waist among the most comfortable in this whole review just really awesome look and feel well it's personal preference I like the fabric they're made of it's like this little uh, how do you call that you know it's like this cross stitch yeah it looks kind of like a cross stitch pattern I really like that looks cool um, they feel a bit big everywhere like this is my only thing with them just a bit big not too much way too wide down here look at this you can fit two people in here and I'm just saying that because they're branded as slim pants again so it's not because they say they're slim that they're actually slim that's why we're making this film who's really slim waterproofing these have the best waterproofing of the bunch it's got DWR on it so they win this category for sure DWR stands for durable water repellent something like that the color is just whatever that was in stock I'm not gonna talk about it um, it's not my personal preference but they have a black too I just haven't seen it in person I would like to see how shiny it is okay. yeah price 160 buckaroos so that is definitely the most expensive band in the whole film maybe that's because they have this fancy DWR I don't know but really expensive I think they have merino stuff in there so you know if you like nice stuff these can be good oh there's no uh which one makes me the best butt this one really yeah, yeah. best butt award yeah. This one. So according to Tucker and Chris, this have uh, make me the best butt. So if you want to have a cool butt, get these pantalons. Now it's time to pick the best ones. There's three categories. There's the winner that's ready out of the box, just like as it comes, ready to go. There's the winner with some modifications, like some tapering. And then there's the winner for cool points. I thought I'd have three categories for like the awards. It's a very important ceremony here. This is like the Guinness World Records, except in the woods and for pants. So the winner for the, the ready to go off the shelf category, meaning they don't need any mods, is the Arteryx Stark. They're a bit tight on the waist, but that's just my body probably. They're just otherwise perfect fit. They have enough tapering and you can actually adjust the bottom of them. So out of the box, they're the winner. Also, I also consider the price point. They're kind of lower end of the scale, also a big plus. So that's it, Arcturic Stark, overall winner for off-the-shelf readiness. Now for the second position, the winner with modifications, like with some tapering and some seamstress adjustments, is the 66 North Essia. Um, it's, got the, it's got the nicest look, it looks like a pair of jeans, that's what this whole thing is about, right? Finding something that finding something that they're a bit more expensive that's why they get second position and they also need they also need a bit of adjustment they need to be tapered at the bottom so they don't cover your shoes uh, otherwise really cool pen that's why it gets the second position and number three the uh, cool points award goes to the Fjallraven Stormlands they have a place in my heart because they look the just a little quirky you know a lot of these pens look really serious but I think like the Fjall Raven remains playful with this like little knife positioning thing and the little leather logo and like sort of almost the khaki vibes. But to me, that's why I want to have them in the top three because after adjustment, after you taper them, they're an awesome pen. And whenever, whenever I wear them, I feel like I'm going on a safari or something. So cool pen. All right, thanks for watching. This is the end of the Pentalon review. I really enjoyed making this. If you thought it was useful, subscribe let me know in the comments um, it's a nice spread of pants I think it's like a sandwich of pantalons now I'm going on a tangent Alex put your pants back on <laughs> oh uh, yeah you don't see it but I'm not wearing pants anymore they're all here <laughs> no somebody's gonna be like oh I don't see this the icebreaker he's probably wearing those <laughs> no, you should take a and we should see you like walk off